Hi everyone, I'll be going over setting up a dual boot with Windows and Linux. I have Windows 11 installed and I want to install Linux. I'll be installing Ubuntu Desktop, which is used for users. I recommend taking backups beforehand, ideally an image of your hard drive. There is free imaging software available and I like both RescueZilla or CloneZilla. I have put links to tutorials on imaging using RescueZilla and CloneZilla in the description below. So to install Ubuntu Desktop, You'll need a laptop or PC with at least 25 gigabytes of storage space. I have a hard disk here of 199 gigabytes and it's all used for Windows. So during the Ubuntu install, I'll be reducing the size of my C drive here by at least 25 gigabytes. And you'll also need a flash drive, 12 gigabytes or above is recommended. And this will be used to put the Ubuntu image on it. So to download Ubuntu desktop, just go to ubuntu.com. And then once you're at Ubuntu.com, just go to download and then get Ubuntu desktop and it'll automatically start downloading. I've already downloaded it and it's about 4.7 gigabytes in size. Next, you'll need Rufus. You can go to Rufus.ie and then you can go scroll down where it's to download. And then I just download the portable version here. And then once both are downloaded, go to your folder and then run Rufus and then select your USB drive and then select your image, the Ubuntu desktop image, and then you can leave the rest defaults, MBR, BIOS, etc. And you can hit start and you can hit okay. And once it has completed, you can reboot your computer and boot into the USB drive. Okay, and this menu comes up here, so you can pick try or install Ubuntu. Okay, you're at the welcome page, install Ubuntu, English and update to another software. I'm going to also tick this off, install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. Okay, and here it asks the installation type. So select this, install Ubuntu alongside the Windows Boot Manager. All right, and this screen here has my hard disk here, and then it's asking how much do you want to allocate for Ubuntu and how much you want to leave for Windows. And so I need at least 25 gigabytes for Ubuntu. So I'm going to leave 50 and then hit install now, continue. And in this screen here, it's asking to write the changes to the disks. So this is my disk here and it's going to be creating a new partition. This is going to be for Ubuntu and it's going to be formatted with the file system ext4, which is native to Linux. Okay, and here it's asking where you're located. So this is related to the time zone. So I'm going to keep the default. And then here it's asking you to put your name and your computer's name and then pick a username. And I'm going to have require my password to log in. Hit continue. This will take some time to install. And you can click on the bottom here just to see the status. All right, the installation is complete. You need to restart the computer, remove the media. All right, and after the reboot, we see here that Grub has come up. Grub is the bootloader and it's asking you what you would like to boot. So you got Ubuntu at the top here and you got the Windows Boot Manager at the bottom here. So I'm gonna pick Ubuntu. Okay, I'm at the login screen. Okay, so now I'm logged in. I'm just gonna skip this, enable Ubuntu Pro. You can skip for now. If you want to enable it later, you can hit next. And for me, I don't want to send any of my system info. So I'm gonna pick no. Okay, and it says here you're ready to go, hit done. All right, so you got here Firefox, your web browser, Thunderbird for your mail. You got files here for your file manager, equivalent to Explorer. You got Rhythmbox for your music. You got LibreOffice Writer, equivalent to Word. You got Ubuntu software for installing any software or packages. And you got help here that's available. You can go down at the bottom here to show all your applications. And so I'm just going to reboot and then we can go back into Windows. All right, so at the grub screen, just pick Windows Boot Manager. All right, so that's it. That's how you can quickly set up a dual boot with Windows and Ubuntu desktop. I hope this was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.